Alright. Kind of done. Body's at the right angle. It needs to go down about an inch. I got enough spacers in here to raise the motor up. It looks like it's about five degrees. It should be two and a half, three, but that's fine. I think I got uh, this all pretty centered. I got about 14 inches to the ground there. Probably about 12 under here from the from the U joint there to the ground. And it looks to me like this rear end is pointing down. So I need to tilt it up a little. And uh, here's where the sway bar is bolt in. I don't know if you can see it, but I ain't got much room there. I'm not exactly sure what I'll do, but that's the only way to rotate this rear end other than uh, cut that axle out and it looks like they welded pretty good. trouble to try to cut the axle and it would be to just shorten up those uh, radius rods it's kind of weird they got them going to side and then in all this rear end's got to be worked over anyway but anyway there's the body you can see it's almost down flush and about another inch on each side this is pretty much straight here this I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this on or not probably so but I'm going to have to cut it probably half of it out there to to clear these springs yeah anyway that's another project first things get this all sorted out but it looks like it's on and in and setting down the way it should I'm clearing good here with a starter and uh, this uh, Firewall is going to go back about two inches. Now I got to figure out some way to get this Corvair stuff all figured out and put stronger springs. It looks like somebody heat them because they're bent real crooked. I think they heated them to try to make it lower. But anyway, I got some Mustang springs coming. That should be enough to hold this big old monster motor. And that thing looks big in there. Wide as a firewall. It's going to be an awesome project. And here's another step in the saga. I fooled around with this for all morning. Trying to figure out where to put it. So this is where I wound up with. It's, uh, it's actually supposed to be up in there, right on that, right there. That way I can get it flat, four inches from the thing. And I uh, had to move it over about one inch or so to get this new joint here in. That's an old one. And I happen to have a piece of drill rod that's uh, machine and that's uh, real nice and shiny stainless or not stainless but uh, <coughs> good stuff and here's a a thing I put in a steering column that I got with it 
this has got all of the turn signals and all that stuff the tire in there that tire wasn't it was hitting over here I had a couple Ford wheels uh, had them on that little ranchero and I painted them and oh, they look pretty good turned out I pulled the hubs apart there's no sign of a break of anything in there what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut I'll measure it go lock to lock make sure I got the right amount but I think I need to cut about an inch out of this one and I need to put about an inch in this one I think that yeah anyway once I get all of this figured out exactly and I know it'll work and then I can make my brackets uh, I gotta let it down or at least let it down to where the wheels are compressed a little to make sure that my tie rod ends are pretty straight I thought about this uh, could almost swap these tie rod ends and put them towards the back so the the uh, the uh, rack and pinion actually controls your toe in anyway that's pretty much good and I still worked on this thing all day again go after with a little fine wire brush we degreased it she got most of all of this off the transmission and everything yeah I need a kick down lever I ordered a accelerator pedal I probably didn't need the cable because I got something here that will work just about This all clean, clean that water or that fuel pump up real nice. Good. These mufflers, uh, they're welded onto the flange, so I'm gonna have to cut them. But uh, my buddy gave me some Harley mufflers, and I just wired them on up under there or tied them on. If I, I cut this bracket off of here, move it back there to the to the back for the front bracket of the cab, and I can come straight out of here. A nice bend, go straight into the into that muffler there with one bend, maybe two, and I don't want to leave it like that because it'd be loud as hell. But uh, I can at least put the straight pipe back there and, and uh, be good enough to start it and stuff. But that kind of looks cool, having that muffler sticking out like that. Looks like it might need to be higher. Got another one here. Or, you know, I could put uh, something on there like that. What? Or maybe. put it in there or something like that or we 
you could stick one in the back like that, run under the springs. Well, whenever this uh, bracket's off of here, I think I can come like right up through here to where this ends right here by the by the tire point under the tire so I'm going to need to bend there now here's the little exhaust pipe on it Yeah, I can bend this out this way. And that's, that's about where it would be, flush. And I, I need to cut that brace off of there. And, uh, and it looks like almost the angle would, would hit there with a little bending. Battery run down. So anyway, I think I can get away with just one straight piece of pipe there and a slight bend for this one. I was thinking about buying five or six J hooks and J bends, but uh, that'll be real straight. And this one, it's almost the same. I just have to turn it a little where it's pointing straight down and. I just have to put one curve to get it going up again. So I need one curve there and one curve on the back. So I need three curves all together. Oh, well, this is pretty good. I don't particularly like this uh, big old front end on here. <laughs> thinking about what I want for a grill shell. Alright, I started fooling around here. I cut this bed up and uh, I had it sit there well, over the springs and then it turned out that I had it sitting way too far on the firewall, about three inches. So now I've pulled it back in to where this goes. I got to cut another groove in here for the springs I've got it all jacked up real high and I got a clamp pretty good along here uh, it's all right over there on that side <coughs> it turned out that the uh, this uh, tailgate piece here is like maybe an inch lower than uh, what this is so I can either slide this back up until this top matches or leave it right in here on the bottom flush with the bottom of the cab Right there, that looks pretty good. It's uh, kind of straight, and I can fix any kind of hole in there. It gives me a bottom line, and if I move it up an inch, I'm going to have an inch gap in the bottom. And basically what this do is going to give me a deeper trunk. I'll have to when I go to make the lid for it I don't know what I'll do but uh, I think this is better to leave it on the bottom <coughs> make the bottom line good got me a 
couple lights. I don't know, these off 56 Buick or something. Now they're too big to go this way. But I think they'll look real nice in here. Yeah, I got two of them. They're kind of pitted and chewed up, kind of rat rod style, but that's alright. And uh, looks like I'm going to clear my rear end here. I may have to open up this a little bit. And then I'll have to just weld some braces. So anyway, I'm going to cut this out. Clear my springs. And lower this bed down onto the body. And see what it looks like. Well, here's the kind of final product. I cut all that bottom off, and uh, I wound up raising the motor a little bit more. Um, but I used three passes on both sides there. It just welded on the top right now that plates bolted in I finished taking off these uh, brackets here and grinding it down and uh, I don't know if this is going to show us or not but it's almost bottomed out about an inch left Collapsed. I ordered some new ones. But looks like I got about two inches there for my oil pan, and uh, I got this all cleaned up. Now I can take this uh, steering unit and uh, put it up in here where it needs to go, and fabricate some brackets for it. And I should be about done with. What I'm going to do to this right now, I think it's plenty strong. Not as strong as it was, but it's not way down in there four inches either, so it's probably a push. I maybe put some more brackets on it, or braces, and I'll, I'll weld it good on the on the bottom once I jack it up but it's plenty good for now and uh, I'll mount that steering here we have another conglomeration I got this uh, motor mount all in and welded up and uh, I had really bad toe in and bump steer then uh, I discovered that this this here has to be kind of level with this uh, with this uh, bottom swing arm bolt and you can see I got yeah not very much this is four inches so I got a little less than four inches to the ground and this is with a suspension all the way down so now I'm gonna check to see how bad the toe in it was between low and up it was like an inch and a half so I'll just check that here we go, it's all up at right height, or actually a little above right height. I had 47 and a half on the bottom. Now I got 48 inches. So I've managed to get the toe end change from completely depressed to completely raised 
half an inch. So I think that's probably going to be good enough. Half an inch toe and change, big difference. When I first started, I had like an inch and a half. I'm still a little high, but yeah, I've got about uh, six or eight inches now. Clearance. Yeah, about eight inches it looks like. got my uh, steering run under my brace I think that's probably good enough so now I have to fabricate me some brackets and uh, mount this thing solid I still have to center it too the FedEx just came Gives me a quarter stick shifter or BM. That's about where that's going to go. And I got myself a dual quad air cleaner here. And got a brake line kit. So much for FedEx. Yeah, that's a set of had. Uh, Reverse lockout missing, but uh, that's pretty easy. I can fabricate something for that. It's been spending two hundred dollars. I think I got this one fifty, including a cable, and the cable costs fifty. So all's good. Here's my eBay find B&M shifter. FedEx came this morning and I got a dual quad air cleaner. So, starting to collect the parts. Well, here it is welded in. I got it centered with the with the uh, Oh man, yeah, that's right. Center with the lower A frame pivot points, and uh, welded a couple brackets there, and then uh, braced them into the frame. I only got a couple inches there under there, but this is this is basically all the way down. Did plate on that, but now the bump steer is from all the way up to all the way down. Got a half an inch toe in change. I'll have to put me an extra heim joint in that steering rod down there because it uh, interferes here on top of the starter. It's just too too tight so I have to put one down in the bottom and another one up here on top and then it'll come through here start putting gauge in they fit the holes nice and uh, Nastia cleaned up the back good painted the rear end and the springs Rust oleum. That looks looks good. So another good lick. We got all kinds of wires and parts and stuff here now ready to go in it.